CNJ, Pastor Earl Baldwin Jr. and I have the privilege, the privilege of standing next to some amazing people that I know you're going to want to meet. So could you just take a moment just to introduce yourselves, let's simply tell them your name really quickly. Uh, my name is Sandra King Sr., the director of the Inkster Community Nighthawks. My name is William Taylor Lee and I'm one of the leaders for our group. My name is Camille Scott, and I'm a Pathfinder. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You guys don't understand how I excited I am to be standing with this group. Why? Because this group represents one of the first community-based Pathfinder groups ever in the Lake Union. Mercy. And here we go now. They, they're not just the first group. They didn't just, like, squeeze in. They came in big and bad like King Kong. You all could just hit the chest real quick a couple times. Why? Because they are serving there, doing an amazing job. But I have a couple questions that I'm sure, sure, sure. some of the viewers may want to know. So kids, Mr. King comes to school. I want to know how this comes about. Because he comes to school and he says, I want to start a Pathfinder group. What were your first thoughts when he said Pathfinders? <laughs> At first, I was really confused because I didn't know what it was, okay. but I found out about it because Mr. King goes to my family church, City oh, Temple, okay. Seventh Day Adventist, and I found out that he knew like all of my aunties and my uncles and my dad and all of that stuff, so when he introduced me to Pathfinders, I was kind of interested in it. That's what's up. How about you? So when he originally like brought it to me, he like walked in the room and everything like that, yeah. and he was like asking people like, would you like to be in the club and stuff? And he was going up to us. And I didn't really originally like know what it was, but then some of my friends said that they've been in it. Yeah. They had some experience like with drilling and marching and having good times and stuff like that. So I just was like, this might be a good opportunity and just decide to join. You know what, I am so excited and the world is so excited that you guys said yes to that invitation. But let me turn to you, Mr. King. <laughs> Mr. King, Mr. King, we've, I've had the privilege of working together and you are super passionate about what you do. So when you, again, felt the urge to start this Pathfinder Club in a community-based school, what, what, what were you thinking? Wasn't, weren't you intimidated? Weren't you scared? What were you thinking? So it's crazy because I had, when I was federation president, yeah. I wanted to do this at a Detroit public school as an after school program. Never, I'm not a Pathfinder director. Right. Well, I am now, but I never wanted yes, to be a Pathfinder are. director. <laughs> I would never really, I was like, hey, Pathfinder is cool, but not for me. Right. But I think this is a great opportunity. Right. So then I got an opportunity to work at American International Academy. And in the process of talking to Eddie Thomas White, who's the superintendent, awesome guy, went to Peterson Warren Academy, yeah. went to Oakwood. He was like, yo, I got this school here. Let's start Pathfinder Club here. He's like, I was like, okay, bet. I'm thinking in my head, I can get some people to run it. He's like, no, I only want you to do it. You. And I'm looking like, uh, never been a Pathfinder director. Look at God. Look at God. Uh, what am I going to do? And then I thought it was going to be easy. Mm -hmm. And I have to be honest with you, the process of making this club happen because we're not a church. We're not affiliated with a church. Right. So we had to get a church to sponsor, sponsor. us. That took a while. Once we got it going... We just hit the ground running. It was amazing. You absolutely hit the ground running. And you know what? Just watching the process and watch the development. I've come, you know, been at services where the kids come in and watch how they worshiped and mm -hmm. how, watch how they interacted. And that flat out was exciting. That was exciting. So let me ask you this question. As you look with all our viewers right now, mm -hmm. um, what is something that you want everyone to know? How can folks help support the Nighthawks? Because... I think you guys are doing an amazing job. So here's what we can do. First of all, I need your prayers because community-based kids, they're, they're learning about Christ, but they're also learning through Christ about pathfinding. But because we're sponsored by a church, we don't have the full financial backing of a church. Okay. But we have, uh, we have 75 kids on our waiting list. Mm. We have a total of 50 kids in our club now, wow. 75 waiting. They need uniforms. They need they need everything that, be, that Pathfinders need. Yeah. So um, you can also you can I mean if you want to support financially, amen. You can uh, cash app or reach out to City Temple Seventh Day Adventist Church mm -hmm. or call American International Academy in Inkster, Michigan. You can Google us and ask for Mr. King, and we can communicate. We also want to travel with our Pathfinders. We love to go anywhere. Yeah, There's a Pathfinder event. I want these young people to experience what they're experiencing here in Gillette. They're loving this, even though the weather's kind of <laughs> crazy. I'm going to just say this. This wasn't Oshkosh weather. But they, I, I think this experience of what they're getting here can be magnified by us coming to your community, coming to your city, coming to your Pathfinder meetings, coming to your camperies, and letting them experience 
the Pathfinder ministry on multiple levels. So we're Amen. open to all of that. Amen. And one of the things I want to let you guys know, you have one of the best in the fact that your swag is on point. <laughs> I remember growing up in Pathfinder, sometimes we'd be embarrassed and we'd try to hide our uniforms because that's just where we were at. But I see you guys coming in this, walking like you own your spaces, you guys. <laughs> so continue to allow God to shine through you guys. Amazing job. And we're going to throw it back to the team right now for some announcements. Okay.